first of all, I'd like to thank the chapter for uh, helping make this uh, possible and their donation toward the education of our members and those who are interested in oriental brush painting. Um, I'd also, um, I'll let Henry Lee talk a little bit about his background or whatever, but uh, the backstory for today is that he had a terrible flight from LAX yesterday. It was on the national news, you know, that all the, that all the, um, that LAX was backed up and all the long lines and the flight delays. I guess it's spring break out there in California. We had ours a few we weeks ago. Uh, and so he got in really late. He flew all day or didn't fly and sat around all day. And, uh, and then his luggage was lost. So he's borrowing some, some whatever he doesn't have right now, but his luggage should be here maybe later tonight. So in, despite all of that, he's still got a smile on his face. This guy, this guy is so happy all the time. <laughs> Happiness comes out of his emails. <laughs> life is good. Life is good. Yes, in spite of all that, life is good. Yeah, that's a quote from some uh, leftover writing on this uh, oh. flip chart. So everything is perfect. Uh, coincident party. <laughs> the other thing that I think is really impressive uh, from what I can see from the YouTube, of course, uh, Joan suggested Henry Lee because of his YouTube fame. And I, since then, I've been uh, tapping into some of his uh, demo things for his um, DVDs that he's made. You're bringing some of those too, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, Kate? I have all 49 lessons uh, in the luggage. Oh, good. He has, and keep this in mind, he has DVDs that he's made of various subject material that if you want additional lessons at home or whatever, you can purchase the DVDs. This is not a sales pitch, okay? It's just that I found that um, when I would go over to his site, he, he, he was fascinating in, in his concept of how he paints and what he paints and... Um, very sort of a contemporary edge, more on oriental brush painting, which is becoming more popular. And uh, so uh, I think you'll really enjoy, enjoy this. Uh, so I'll turn this over to, to Henry now. And he says that you can call him Henry. And um, he won't remember any of our names, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, okay well, thank you very much All for right. a nice introduction. <laughs> Let me start a little greeting for the video viewer on YouTube. You might have heard this uh, as uh, many as uh, 1,000 times because I have 1,000, more than 1,000 uh, clips on YouTube. Yes. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 I'm Henry Lee, blueheronarts.com. <laughs> Today, I'm going to teach a, a workshop, live workshop with a group of people from the Blue Heron chapter of uh, American Sumer Society. Um, this is a very historical meeting of the West and the East. Um, <laughs> yesterday I traveled all the way from uh, California uh, coast for, to uh, Norfolk, the Virginia <laughs> beach. Um, I have seen the, the vast uh, landscape of uh, uh, American uh, continent and uh, this morning I saw uh, a fleet of uh, blue herons fr flying around just behind me. The sign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you can see the, let's, uh, I'll make it up with the video editing. So you can see the, the, the ocean, Atlantic Ocean, right? Yes. Not Pacific. Um, <laughs> Atlantic Ocean uh, just behind me. Yeah, it's a very inspirational, inspiring space uh, to paint. <coughs> so Blue Heron is the, the key for this um, uh, historical meeting. Um, let's start with uh, painting. I'm a painter, so um, you know, let's uh, start doing painting while I'm talking. Uh, so I'm going to do a Blue Heron to mark this uh, event first. So I got some uh, indigo chips 
from Joe. Um, by the way, I lost my luggage yesterday. It's an unexpected uh, uh, flight delay. And uh, so I have to borrow the brush and the uh, paper, everything. What is the brush you're using? Uh, this is a uh, soft no. brush. Yeah. Uh, well, for me, if there's only two kinds. So high. Yeah. Just high enough to see the ocean. Oh. oh. Yeah. That's beautiful. Because that's yeah. actually it's not the ocean. It's too much branch behind you. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, the reason we put this on is that my face may look a, a, a little bit. Yeah. But later, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now that you can Don't see the it. ocean. If uh, some uh, visitors for the first time uh, in this room, you can take a look. Now, uh, in the video session, we, we have to keep it down. Yeah. Uh, just to my face. Uh, right, there. right there. Oh, okay. So you can still see that wave. We're also pushing. <laughs> All right, let's start over again. Um, so um, I'm going to do a, a painting with the blue herons. Um, I just heard that uh, uh, the name behind this uh, chapter, uh, blue heron chapter, is the blue heron is the symbol of American. It's an American bird. Bird. Okay. Uh, I think it, uh, uh, it is a heron, but it's one. Great blue heron is a Native American. Yes. Bird. That's why the, it's a, the, the, we are an American Sumi society, Sumi society, so they use this name. And let me explain uh, the reason behind, behind uh, our company, <laughs> blueheronarts.com. Um, it's an online store. We sell Chinese uh, brushes, paint, paint, uh, painting supplies. Uh, actually, this goes back to the late uh, 90s when I ran an internet uh, company called uh, uh, Card, Card For You. It's a greeting card service, online free greeting card service. We make money by advertising. And I design greeting cards for different uh, house, uh, holidays. So in, in 1998, I think, we reached the top 10 uh, most visited website. So we even beat uh, CNN or or uh, other, you know, uh, major content providers. Uh, wow. In the Christmas Eve, we had, uh, I don't know, two billion maybe <laughs> visitors. So uh, we sold our company. During this business uh, uh, time, I had a chief uh, competitor called Blue Mountain Arts. Uh, they also do uh, greeting cards. So I registered a, what do you call this? <laughs> if someone calls Yahoo or calls some, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Something similar, right? <laughs> we change a few letter, right? So we change the uh, mountain into art. I just reserved that name. I think it's a nice name to to uh, come to do the same business or for art. So later I use that for my own business. That's uh, uh, just for you to to uh, for, you know your curiosity. Do I ask, answer your question, Joan? Yes. Okay. So uh, just derive from Blue Mountain Arts. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because we're in the same business, and I try to uh, learn, you know, to to, uh, uh, to model them. <laughs> yeah. How I found you is that I was trying to, to uh, I'm not very good in, in uh, the computers, but I was trying to get in touch with uh, the Blue Heron chapter to read a newsletter. Yeah. And you, well, my name came up. Yeah. 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 Just like the same effect. If someone types Blue Mountain, then the Blue Heron may pop up. So it's, this, it's Blue Heron is exactly the same keywords. So uh, if someone search Blue Heron, they will find you. So we're mutually <laughs> connected uh, on the internet. That's, uh, that's the magic of that. So that may actually makes the, con um, the, the connection. I have received the calendar from Blue uh, Blue Heron chapter every year since uh, f last five years probably I no. I have uh, have your kind of, so I'm kind of know what uh, your painting look like <laughs> although I I cannot match the painting uh, with each individual artist here so um, we have this uh, in Chinese connection you know sumi con sumi connections mm -hmm. we call it. Um, you still have the e-card companies? Uh, we sold that company uh, just before the, uh, okay, uh, we sold that company in 1998 or 99, 99, 
And before the stock crash, the, uh, so to a, a public company, it's Nasdaq Kill Company. So I was, uh, uh, okay, we sold that, maybe not for the viewer. <laughs> 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 we, sold the, we, we, bought, we sold the company at uh, um, $8 per share. And uh, I came to New York to, to sell the company several times you know, just for the business trip. And uh, there is a company called the Real Media. It's a Nasdaq Q company. They, they stock, they're, they're a VC company, you know, venture capital. So because our hit is so high, they noticed they notice us. They, they just bought us. This is how they do it uh, at that time. So uh, the stock goes up uh, by the eve of the, the crash. Uh, Ninety-eight dollars. So I was a multi-millionaire <laughs> on the paper. <laughs> I cannot sell the stock uh, until two years later. I just before that, uh, the stock goes south, <laughs> all the way down to under one dollar. So um, yeah, yeah, that's that's a roller coaster ride. Yeah. Okay. Do I answer your question? Okay. Okay. Any other questions before we do the painting? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> let me um, let me do a do a blue heron to to match this uh, event. Well, that's me yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, um, start start off in LA. Now I'm going to the the, the East Coast. <laughs> we also have egrets. Egrets. Which are white. Uh huh. Okay. With the tuft on the top. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I cannot do all 20, 20 <laughs> but if you count them, there should be 20. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why should there be 20? Oh, let's uh, symbolize uh, each of you. Let's count by fours.
Thank you. Um, I think uh, you can, you know, watch some. Uh, let me just draw some uh, background or something. Uh, I took the flight from here to here uh, takes uh, 18 hours, almost the same time I <laughs> would go back to China. Um, <laughs> that's where I was born. Uh, it's a city called Nanjing. From uh, LA to Nanjing, there's direct flight, only 11 and a uh, half an hour. So 18 hours, I should be home. <laughs> yeah. That's really odd. They don't take seven hours because I go into California every year. Yeah. And that's, it's usually about five to seven hours. Do you get caught in the traffic that they were holding yeah. people? So uh, I, it was uh, six o'clock. Uh, got up and at 6.30 I was on the shuttle, two, two hours to the airport. Uh, and then the sunset uh, when I reached the east coast. <laughs> Henry, would it be all right if we take photos of what Oh you yeah, I'm recording, recording myself, yeah. so you uh, hopefully you'll get something on the internet. Uh, you, yeah, you're welcome to, to videotape or, 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 or a picture. Maybe I should give you uh, one of you my phone so you can take a picture for me. Oh. <laughs> just, like, uh, just press the, the um, re, uh, camera button. Um, just, yeah, I, I post for you. Like uh, like this. <laughs> so I have this. Uh, I will move in a minute. I will put put it on my Facebook. Uh, so this is uh, this like pictures and that, like uh, yeah. This is the ocean. The, the Pacific Ocean. Now I'm at uh, this side. So I see the difference. Yeah. Chesapeake Bay. So I will do. Uh, uh, sandy beach here, like the, the beach. Water, whatever. This is the horizon. Well, just the uh, idea. You can see I should finish. Uh, consider the painting is finished. The uh, um, only. With 50% of the the the, the uh, paper is painted, so the other is void. Means uh, uh, in the imagination of your mind, and in my mind, and now in your mind, and when you see it. So uh, that's the the Chinese uh, uh, way. You use painting to express your mood, basically. Uh, to mark an event, to make a, a, a poem. Like a, like a writing writing a poem, you only use uh, some imagery <laughs> to um, stimulate the mood, to, to symbolize, to um, transfer the mood to the viewer. Understand? Yeah. Okay. So what I write is this: uh, life uh, is uh, good in Chinese. 生活是美好的. <laughs> Uh, let me write in Mandarin, uh, I mean, that's in Mandarin, <coughs> in, in Chinese. Life is good. So, 生活, 生 means life, 活 means alive, uh, you know. Um, to live, to live is, is good in Chinese, right? So, artists usually live so long. He is writing from the right hand side. So, Shen Fa. Shen Fa is good. Mei uh, hao is good, uh, beauty, mm. beautiful and uh, good together in Chinese. What's the middle letter? Shi. Shi. Death, right? Uh, 
Beautiful. Beautiful. And yeah, then that's, how? The, that's the, just the translation. Uh, uh, that's that? Yeah. Like this going. Yeah. Okay. So, this is the, the <coughs> way we, we write uh, inscription. The, the Chinese uh, monkey year. Right. Spring mm -hmm. of uh, monkey year. Mm -hmm. You can write mm -hmm. the Western date like uh, 2016, uh, April the 15th. I can also keep writing if I want, if I have room. So this is a part of the composition. If I write too long, it will uh, leave no room for the stem. So I even now, I have to consider the stem. So yeah, I'm going to stop. Oh, signature. So my Chinese name is Xiao Hui, which means morning sunshine. <laughs> By the way, I was born in the morning. My morning sunshine. Xiao Xiao means morning. Hui means sunshine. He was born in the morning. I was born in the morning, and my father uh, was born in the evening. So his name was Ye Guang, evening light. Yeah. And he passed away last uh, last year. How long have you been in the United States? Huh? How long have you been in the United States? Uh, since 1987, so it has been almost 30 years, 29. Henry, were you a painter in China before you came to the United yes, States? Yes, I started to, to paint when I was uh, 13 years old. My father took me to a bosom friend uh, of him. He uh, happened to uh, live in the same room under the same roof of uh, the labor camp. We call it Liu Peng. I don't know how to translate that. Um, like a bull house, or <laughs> bull, <laughs> bull uh, or buffalo house, uh, you know. Anyway, um, they they happen to have this connection in the Cultural Revolution, you know, to, to be in the same neighbor camp and become bosom friend. Uh, so after they come back home, uh, he took me to his friends, uh, a famous artist in my hometown, Nanjing. Uh, his name is Zhang Zhenying. Uh, one of the four old masters from the Republic of China you know, from the previous uh, um, uh, historical period. <coughs> so he uh, showed me how to do, I think the first painting was the, the peony, and then I started uh, uh, to follow, to, to be his uh, student. So I, I would uh, ride a bicycle from uh, where I live to him, like a one hour bike uh, after school hours, uh, every week or month uh, to learn from him. So that's my first uh, source of inspiration. If you have watched my video uh, about my art, uh, my introduction of my class, I talk about seven inspiration sources. Uh, this is the first. So what, this is how I started to learn from a master, uh, a teacher. So uh, that's uh, yeah. Let me finish this painting, and I will go to other questions like uh, my family, my wife. I talk about. <laughs> oh yeah, um, we had an accident. Uh, our, our roof is uh, leaking, so she has to stay home. To, uh, to, yeah. Next time. Yeah. Next time. Later. Let me let me finish. Oh, uh, you can take you can take any of these brushes. I don't think I have seal. The seal is in the suitcase. <laughs> so what I do is, uh, if you don't have a seal, do you have a seal? Everybody has a seal? I have a seal. Yeah. Not everybody. Okay, that's good. I want to show you how to do this. So you can use the uh, cinnabar or vermilion to draw your your uh, initial in English and to put it in a square. Easy, right? Okay, this is how I do it. Square. You don't have to do a complete square. You can leave some, uh, uh, Break. yeah, some bricks. It's like a chipping uh, or old mm -hmm. seal, you know. That's what yeah. they do when you have seals made. 
Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Chapel on it too. This is chipped out. Okay. Yeah. Just uh, HL. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You can put uh, corner seals or Bannon's foot seals. In this case, you can either put on this or that. That could be a mood seal. Um, something like this phrase could be put in a seal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Could you two talk about where a seal should be placed? Okay. Yeah. Basically, um, the seal is considered uh, part of the composition. So that's why I try to avoid, I write too long and then the seal goes right here. It will be mm -hmm. conflict with the sun, right? Mm -hmm. So in this painting, I have one red spot already. So that's another red spot. And it's a good idea to have a uh, rectangular uh, composition of three seals. Uh, so I was thinking either here or here. Maybe here, because we already got that uh, water there. So let me just put a, uh, a smiley, a smiley <laughs> in the seal. Okay. Okay. Did you say rectangular or triangular? Ch I'm sorry, triangular, <laughs> triangular. Uh, thanks, Dave. So a, a triangular shape. If a rectangular would be uh, four corners, that's no, no good. Uh, four, yeah, so, and the triangle should not be uh, equal triangles. The, the distance between them uh, should be uneven, right? That's basic uh, common sense. I just think you, you don't need to, to do the circle. You can put it in a square or put it in a face, something like that. And this is still, you know, the, the same carving style. You could, you could have an in style, which is negative carve. This is a positive carve. But in writing, you cannot really uh, do, make, a, make a negative carving easily. So yeah, just for you to, but you know, it doesn't matter. Um, it, there's no rule which uh, style you want to use. You, you can use both uh, styles, doesn't matter. As long as it looks good, each individual seal may have different weight, bigger, smaller, or you know. To, for the landscape, uh, the seal should be smaller because you will make the landscape look small if you use a big seal, big stamp, right? So uh, in flower and birds painting, you want to use big seal. Because that balance with the flowers. Also, also the signature size. I consider this a, something between landscape and uh, and the flower and the birds painting. So um, I, pu I put it in small writing to make the uh, painting looks uh, looks big, looks you know more uh, proportional. Um, <coughs> so <coughs> this is another concept talking about composition. The opening and the closing, you understand? I talked to you in the video on YouTube, right? So if you don't, uh, if you open this and without uh, the sun and the, the balance uh, calligraphy, you look, uh, uh, at least you have to do this much, right? You can leave this out, the, the closing. You understand? The Chinese uh, painting talks about opening and the closing relationship. It's like you built a miniature, uh, miniature, uh, called bonsai, bonsai. bonsai. Right? You put a big uh, mountain, uh, and then you balance it with a small rock. That, that's an opening, closing. It's a balance between uh, different elements. Also, we call it uh, uh, host and guest. Yeah. But depends on the the, uh, the 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 emphasis. You know, it could be. Uh, in flower and paint, uh, flower and birds, we maybe use more terms like uh, uh, host and guest. In landscape, we call close and uh, opening and close. Yeah. Yeah, you can come closer to take pictures. Let me turn oh. off this. Your your practice. Uh, you you only want to do this one, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. That's the one. Um, let me talk first uh, uh, how I learned this. Um, first of all, when you paint any bird, do you know how many feathers they have for yeah. flying? How many? A lot. No? A lot. <laughs> Eleven? Uh, close, yeah. yeah. My teacher told me 13, every bird. Oh. 
So we, we know that in Chinese brush painting, you know how many petals of uh, plum, not not the chrysanthemum, not necessarily, but plum five, right? Or or something uh, bamboo three strokes. So this is this kind of thing you need to uh, to learn uh, uh, botanical knowledge or uh, what they call this animal study. Uh, you need to know how the difference is. The, this is some common sense in Chinese painting. Um, Fourteen. So when I do, I I can close my eyes. I count one, two, three, four, five. 13 or 11, actually 11, that you're right. When I, I have no room when I reach 11, but some overlapping, that's fine. But you don't want to do just seven or five, or you know you have to do it close to 13. Is it 13? If it's four room, but if, it, if it, you see only uh, this many, you, 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 you see maybe there's different, like a major flying feather and the secondary or something. I'm not very a specialist in, in a bird's uh, autonomy. Um, but uh, you know, it, it helps if you know that. Um, how many tails? Is it is it thirteen on each wing? On each wing. Okay. Yeah, on each wing. And uh, how many tail? What the tail? Uh, the, seven. Like a sparrow. Seven. 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 Perfect. Seven. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> have that knowledge. This is we call the base. Uh, uh, the knowledge base. Tail. Knowledge base. Tail. So seven tail. seven feather seven. for tail for all Not birds. Tail. All the birds. Oh, and tail. So including yeah. the larger birds, the, the sparrows. That I learned from sparrows lesson. Uh, my teacher told me seven feathers. He, he has the, because I was the bad boy hunting the sparrows and gave to him for, for you know, for cooking. <laughs> but uh, uh, in, in cultural revolution, we used to have campaign to kill all the sparrows. And Chairman Mao wanted them to die. So everybody, you know, uh, on one day will come out to ch chase them to death. They cannot uh, stop, mm -hmm. just flying to death. The sparrows are considered the four uh, bad, uh, including the, the, what do you call it? Anyway, rats, <laughs> something like that. We had blue birds in the same Yeah, area. but uh, not, not nobody uh, killed birds anymore, uh, right? But uh, at that time, I, I will bring real birds to my teacher, and he will show me how many feathers uh, on the wing, uh, how many feathers. Uh, uh, on the uh, tail, and uh, he'll paint that bird. I have a series of paintings uh, of different birds that I got, but you know that's when I was young. Um, okay, so about this eleven between eleven to thirteen strokes we find for the wings, um, and there's a you, there's a little little uh, point that. When you, when you eat chicken wings, you will see that. So that that's where the, the feather starts, right? Um, and uh, so that's when, when we do this. And the other thing is the, the head. You don't want to do it a loose uh, S shape. You want to have uh, Z. Z. Yeah, that, that's, that's my lesson. So between S and the Z, okay. Between square and round in Chinese uh, philosophy. Between square and it's a squirrel sometimes shape. <laughs> <laughs> Is there uh, something, yeah. Something, yeah. Between round and the square. Between curve and the square. Okay. And uh, what are this? Uh, we use two different uh, brush. Soft for the feather uh, and stiff with the beak and the legs. Because I don't mind, I can use any brush. Mm. So I just use one brush, that's uh, okay. That would be soft brush. Because mm. if I use stiff brush, it won't carry so much uh, moisture to mm. finish the, the feather. So I, I choose the, the, the most uh, absorbent brush. If you want to use one uh, soft brush or combination brush, you could do the job. What, okay. What's the name again? Combination of uh, stiff and soft. This one could be a combination, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's a combination. It's not very soft. It's a good combination brush. Yeah. So that way soft yes, brush large will flow. contain more yeah. water. Large flow, yeah. Soft brush contains more soft water. Soft brush is made of the white, fe uh, white <coughs> fur or, or hair from goat. It is a, a more, uh, load more uh, moisture. Absolutely. And soft, uh, softer, yeah. And uh, it's easier to use stiff brush for details, like the yeah. The beak and the legs and the eye. Okay, let me let me paint it on this napkin. Uh, the paper we're going to use is uh, 
uh, for spontaneous painting, you use this absorbent paper, or shun. Uh, and size is shun. Size is the, uh, we call it, uh, water resist treatment or in the paper making industry they use uh, alum and glue to seal the absorbency so they make a raw paper first it's like a napkin and uh, this paper underneath it is like size the paper it's not if I paint on, on this you will not absorb the, the, the flip chart paper like drawing paper uh, it's not up, uh, smearing or bleeding right um, you know, you all know that. So, which paper you're going to use? If I choose between the sweet, uh, the flip chart, and uh, the napkin, <coughs> the napkin, the napkins, napkin. yeah. So we'll do the napkin. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do this side because some sometimes you feel more comfortable with this uh, hand, right? If I stand here, if I can do on this side, I have to stand in front of the table. So I try to just flip it. Will that be okay? Okay. I was always a star from the back. This is our, uh, my teacher told me. So since my brush is dark, I, I don't wash it. I just uh, use a paper towel or napkin to dry it. So you, you want to save some uh, paper, uh, water. So in the end of my session, the, the water should still be clean, <laughs> I hope. So this way I got light, and I can touch a little light. This way I got the reverse gradation. <laughs> What's the reverse gradation? Uh, the dark, it was dark. I, I washed it and I, I make it thirsty, then I dip a little water. It become light to dark. It's, it's not as common as uh, most uh, Sumi artists do. But I like the softness of the body, right? So you can see, oh, sorry, I have to do it <laughs> very gently. So if you want to avoid, uh, you kind of roll it. You, if you want to uh, avoid tearing, tear, tearing the rice paper, you, 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 there's a hole you cannot see. So you can see my, my tip of the brush is uh, lighter than the heel. This is called, now I, I load the dark again to do the, the head. Oh, I haven't done the, the uh, other matter. I can do the, do that later. Do you want some shrimp? Oh. Mm -hmm. So you so break it up into threes. <laughs> it's kind of a, Hard. It's very challenging to do. Um, this napkin is kind of thing. I try to. Do you want some mm, I try to take the challenge to finish it. <laughs> they cannot really see it. <laughs> I, you know, it can be wet mounted or dry mounted. Yeah. I just want to show general public that it, 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 there's no excuse not to learn Chinese. Brush painting, you got the shrimp paper in your home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I love the way that you don't make the beak straight, that you give it character yeah. by uh -huh. making the beak go up. Yeah. And the other thing is done in, in threes. beginning you might have a, a mind image you have to have that to start but as soon as you make some mistake uh, you know something <coughs> unexpected happens you need to adjust at every moment uh, what to do next and there are maybe many uh, uh, possibilities don't stick with plan A 
Otherwise, we cannot do this workshop today because I lost my luggage. Then we just have to <laughs> go with plan B, plan N, you know. So uh, that's called freestyle. If you have a plan, you're not free. So you keep all the possibilities open, that's free. So uh, when you travel, you, you have a plan. Then you can, you know, if you see a beautiful scenery, you stop. That's, uh, you know, un un unplanned. Right? If you, if you don't stop, you, it's not a um, free, you know, like a, a free, free travel, what do you call it? Um, so spontaneous. spontaneous, yeah, spontaneous travel. So if you look from <laughs> distance, you cannot even tell it's a napkin, right? So basically, uh, napkin is very similar to uh, chewing paper, you can see. The, uh, the absorbency is mirroring, it's the same. So you have to uh, kind of uh, make friends with it, not try to control it. I have new students, new students <coughs> always complain. They will start with a semi-sized shrine. Uh, it's like a newsprint. Newsprint has some absorbency, but not, you, you can do very slowly. It won't, it won't expand that much. Uh, then it, when they paint on real shrine paper, it will start, when you, if you stop there for uh, long, it will start to make a blob. That's, that's the napkin. It's exactly like a napkin paper. So, uh, if you can paint napkin, it's easy. So you can you can just uh, paint with uh, uh, soy sauce <laughs> when you when you have dinner <laughs> practice. Yeah. Yeah. So w if you can do it on napkin, uh, you can do it. Yeah. So it's very expensive to practice on shrimp paper because they make this uh, with a specific uh, straw of rice, hay, and uh, uh, with a special kind of bush with the bark. It's a it's a mo it's not a mulberry it's a special mulberry mulberry paper is a different it's yeah. a yeah it's a strong stronger fiber that Qing Tan is the name for that I don't know what's the I forgot that name I have that in the product description <laughs> if you go to the website I even have the the video showing where it grows in the in the hills yeah, where the Xuan County uh, is the native to the plant and they have three resources the plant of Qing Tan tr uh, tree or bush. And uh, the special water you have the perfect pH, you know, and uh, uh, something else I forgot. Oh, the hay, the, the rice. It's a special white rice or something. They have to grow just for making the paper, not for, uh, yeah, eating. for eating. Yeah, not right. For eating. Not for eating. So the, that's why the shrimp paper is. They have to uh, hand make. Yeah. And the wrinkles uh, come with this paper, just like napkin is broken. You know, something. It's, it's, it's okay. We can always uh, um, stretch and flatten it. So we don't stretch or flatten it before, like a uh, watercolor painting. We do the mounting later. Actually, I have some silicone paper with me in the luggage. Uh, maybe I can uh, make a demo. I can fix this later. Yeah. <coughs> So Henry, what kind of paper do you actually use most often? A good question. Most uh, ninety percent uh, Chinese professional painter would like a shuan paper. Yes. Yeah. The double shuan, single oh, shuan. Uh, double shuan is uh, like a, a good sound system. You have to have <laughs> an orchestra to listen to it. If you play violin on this, you know, it, okay. it's not going to show. Um, I find with the single swim yeah. that I, I make holes because it's probably too much water. Yeah, single swim. And it also crinkles up when it dries in yeah. a certain way. Yeah. And yeah, you, you crinkle uh, can be fixed uh, with a mounting. That's why mounting is uh, uh, required to finish the painting. And you will see the true uh, color or ink value after mounting because uh, when you dry it, it faded but you, uh, if we mount it uh, I, I'm pretty sure I will do that with maybe with a demo so you can see the after mounting it almost like uh, wet when it's wet it would the intensity will come back also um, this uh, this why you know some light color may may fade if you don't mount it so when you show your artwork you should always mount it um, my, um, I don't know which number was, uh, one of the f seven 
ins inspirational source is uh, new materials. I always explore uh, new materials like mappings <laughs> and uh, any paper I found. Um, so also mounting method or you know, different brushes. Uh, I have 200 brushes <laughs> you know, in my collection or something like that. Thank you.